What's up, divas? What's up, divos? It's your girl, April. But of course, you guys already knew that. But if you're new to my channel, then welcome. It's April, also known as Muffin Is My Lovers. So I'm going to try to make this video really, really quick. Sometimes I just don't be quick about stuff, and I could totally admit to that. But I was requested to do a video on how I slay or lay my edges, whichever word or terminology you want to use. Go right ahead, okay? Because I don't really like to put a lot of gel in my hair when it's like fresh, fresh clean. So I'm gonna show you guys right now. So the reason why my hair is out is because this is just how I started. And of course, the back is just like in a braid. Um, that's because, you know, I'll either wear a half wig or a regular wig. Either way, it's in a braid. So this is just what I do. And then after I slay the edges, I'm not going to put on a wig because it's like 110 degrees outside. And I'm really trying to die. So I've been wearing like a lot of head wraps. You know what I'm saying? Make them fancy. I have a whole door full of head wraps right there that you can only imagine. So I'm going to be wearing a head wrap today. So the first thing I do is I take one of my favorite toothbrushes. Make sure you don't brush your teeth with this. And I just brush whatever hair I'm going to use down. Now, I know everybody loves this Eco Styling Gel. It's great. It really is great. But for some people, it doesn't really hold their edges. It doesn't hold my edges. I do use this just to start it off with because I really don't like too much hard stuff in my hair. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use this. And I'll just take a little bit and put a little bit on the back of my hands. And kind of like place it right there. And then I'll take my toothbrush. And like I said, I don't really like it in the middle. So the very first point, I'll just take it. I'll brush them all down with the gel. And of course, I'm going to take a little bit and put it on the brush. And I'll just take it and kind of like form it like that it's not supposed to be like perfect but you know you just want to take it and kind of like curve it and I just curve it into the hair so you want to go ahead and take it kind of like pull it back right here and brush it into the hair so you take it down kind of like and kind of like brush it into the hair Again, I just take it, want to brush it down, and just kind of like make a little design with it. Make sure that you have a good toothbrush. The really cheap ones that are hard are the best ones. And over time, of course, the gel is going to build up in it. You don't want it too built up because it will get super duper hard and it'll start scratching your skin. So at least wash them at least once a week, especially if you're going to use them every day. I would definitely say wash the toothbrush once a week. Brush it down and bring it upwards like that. And being that my edges are thin right here, I don't really do too much to this portion, but I will take this. Sometimes, sometimes, you know, I'll brush it up, but then I'll come back and I'll kind of like do a little, little something like that. So, too much, but sometimes I use my finger to hold it down right here and I just brush it up. And I like to brush it into the hair. Right, I'm going to go ahead with the gel that's a harder. It'll help hold it a little bit longer. Sometimes I don't have to put um, anything in my hair for like three days, depending on how I sleep with it. So I'll use this here, which is the Gorilla Snot Gel. So I'll just take this, same thing, 
and I'll just rub a little bit on the edges with my finger. You don't have to use your toothbrush unless it, the, any of the hairs came out of place. And you know, sometimes I do go in and use the toothbrush. And I'll also take it right here because I just like it to be really flat. And also right here, even though I'm not having any baby hairs here, I just want everything to be, you know, kind of like smoothed out. The next step is I'll take it and I'll braid it in a cornrow. Now I'm gonna take one of these like wig grip things. These are amazing for your head scarves. Scarf that I'm gonna be using. It's actually folded in half. So I'm gonna just keep it like that because it's a really big scarf and it's really long. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and on that note, all of the information or the products that I use will be listed for you guys below. If you want to see a full tutorial um, talk through of how I tie my scarves, then definitely check out my channel. Hopefully I'll remember and I'll post those links for you guys below as well because I have a ton load of scarves and I love wearing them whenever I can pick them up. I do so because I just think it's so fashionable and it's just really, really unique and different, but also you're able to look cute and also stay cool. But definitely check out the wig grip bands. I'm not saying the Milano brand because it's like 20 bucks, but these ones I got from Amazon. It's by a brand called eBoost. You get two of them for 10 bucks. Can't beat that. You know, they're really good and it helps your scarves stay in place so they're not slipping back. And I absolutely love them. So, yes, you guys, stay diva and delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, show all your love as much as I love you guys. And I'll see you in a soon to come video.